Do you like Dota? Do you like to see if you're improving, if you're better than your friends? Well, if you want to be good at something, you need to compromise, right? Dota Sumo is an app that allows you to track your Dota performance, regardless of win rate, in a very easy, fast and organized way. The app can recognize whether you're playing a core hero or a support hero, and unlike the competition, you can easily see how your performance with one particular hero is changing over time. There are tons of features that are coming, like a counter picking tool, they're also planning a feature that spots heroes you're having trouble with and suggests crispy tutorials to help you improve. Hey guys, it's boy here, and this is how to draft and set up lanes with PPD. In this game, there has probably a weird undying pug in the offlane, and PPD and his team are trying to figure out how to set up their lanes right. This is something that people in low MMR struggle to do right. Predict lane setups and try to play around them. If you pay attention to the heroes, the mid matchup is going to be fine. Coop versus Lena can go either way. And the question here is how to approach the other lanes. Listen to PPD's suggestions. Two brains, more knowledge. Undying, Pugna. All right, we're in it. Well, let's try to get Nyx away from Nyx. I think that should be the strat. I feel like that's a great idea. Void is a great matchup against Lifestealer not only in lane, but in the mid game, while Nyx works great against Pugna. CM is usually the hero that will be in lane with Lifestealer, meaning that taking Nyx away from Nyx is probably going to get the lane pairing they want. Pay attention how they approach this. Boris is their carry, yet they don't immediately place his heroes anywhere. Since PPD gave Sand King a ward right at the beginning and he TP'd the bottom, they easily scaled their plans and you can hear the call. So I'll pay Pally you 5 bucks if you say shut the fuck up in all chat. Do we see anyone yet? Oh, no, they ain't coming here. Thought they'd do the old smoker doodle. Alright, Pugna's uh, Pugna. bottom. Pugna dying. Okay, so, um, Void top. Okay. It's yeah, mid arena. Up. In this other game, PPD and his team are talking about his hero. I'm willing to play, like, I mean, anything, obviously, because I'm a team player, but, um, that's a given. Oracle does just destroy Darkseer's lane. Yeah, but defensive supports are pretty bad against Silencer throughout the game. Someone mentions playing Oracle against Silencer, and PPD mentions something quite interesting. He doesn't like playing defensive supports against Silencer. Not only Global Silence allows the Radiant team the ability to jump whatever hero they want, with basically no counterplay, Arcane Curse is very annoying against heroes that spam abilities, like Dazzle and Oracle. Considering he is the 5th player, he won't have Yu, Scepter or Lord Zorb right away, so while Weaver feels for a lot of people like a defensive support, listen to what PPD thinks about it. They're gonna pick Lifestealer next pick. Wyvern can work. Yeah, I'm down to play Wyvern, why not? It's gonna global though. That's fine. I'm not saving people, I'm just alting. The hero has a save, but he's way more than that. Unlike, let's say, a Dazzle. A few moments later, when they need to pick carry, they are talking about the strengths of Slugger plus Lifestealer, a very strong combo. Uh, Ritsu was thinking of picking heroes like Sven, CK, Spectre. Spectre, CK, or Sven. Um, I mean, whatever you want, I don't care. But I would imagine. <sighs> I don't know. Slark is pretty good. I don't know how you feel about it. But PPD suggests Slark. Not only the hero is pretty decent against the enemy lineup in the mid game, first because Slark's night vision is amazing to deal with ganks, but also Dark Pact. The main weakness of Slark is laning phase, what they thought was mid silencer, but uh, it was actually a support. But let's see how they actually react to it. Again, the mid lane is already done. There's no other hero that can go against Viper, and it's all about getting the other lanes a good matchup. You want Nyx versus Darkseer because Lark really suffers against Iron Shell. They don't immediately assume that Darkseer is in the offlane though. Perfect. I'm gonna go check mid. Oh, he where did he? Okay, so Silencer's bottom it means life's just down there with him, so let's get ready to go aggro. First, they plant a ward, and only after seeing Silencer bottom, it gets clear that Darkseer and Slaughter are top. They are a very good combination because of Iron Shell, and they are probably gonna be together. Uh, not only because of the move speed from Surge, but also because of the move speed from uh, Slaughter's other skill. Who the fuck is that? I'm safe lane, by the way, not mid on Razor. Alright. In this other game, Ritsu wasn't talking much, but he decided to go mid against Amber Spirit, instead of going safe lane. Most people would feel like Razor is a pretty good matchup against Amber, and that's true. 
The thing though is that Batrider is super good against Terror Blade. Clockwork doesn't want to babysit a carry, and this means that they would struggle against the Night Stalker Blood's Bat Rider lane. After all, Warlock is not the strongest hero in the first levels. So I really like their decision of going Razor safe lane. What's the LC Sand King lane like? During this other draft, PPD asks his team whether the Sand King vs Legion lane is favorable. And his team doesn't really feel all that inclined on doing it, because while Sand King is slightly better against Legion than Juggernaut, leaving Jugger in an aggro lane can mean that he doesn't farm well enough to compensate for the other lanes doing slightly better. I think we could challenge their trial lane, so let's try and match. Do we want to match up Sand King vs LC? Like, is that like a... Yeah. Is that a, is that a solid matchup? I, I really don't know. I think we'd rather yeah. we'd rather have farm. a farm desk. Yeah. Like he'll get farm, but I think it's better if the SK is farm. Alright, so we're going aggro? Uh we'll try and find their lanes first and then we'll match up as best we can. But we can't go aggro, yeah. In the end though, Dyer goes for a Necrophos, and things change a little bit. Sand King against Necro is kinda scary, but I mean, they can't just assume lanes, but so they first scout the enemy lanes, and when they're able to scout that Dyer has Nyx and Necro top, they go aggro. Swap it up! Necro, Wait, no, yeah, Necro up. and Nyx are Oh, that's a support Nyx, support Nyx, alright, we're still going top. There's a PMS. Yeah, it's fucking manly as hell. Necro is kind of a greedy pick. Ideally, you don't want him to get a lot of levels early because, I mean, if he's against a Sand King, he's gonna say to his supports that they just can go roam around and do other stuff because he wants his levels. So by sending an aggro lane against him, they at least force one support there while they give Sand King a way better lane. So that's a crispy decision. As you can see, even though our TI champion dies at level 1 by going up the cliff, uh, it's quite obvious that the aggro lane decision was good. Under pressure. Holy fuck! All right, my bad, boys. Too hyped. I didn't. I th All right. Much more. Because Necro dies uh, at level one to Jugger right at the beginning of the game. I guess something to mention about most of the drafts I showed until this point is that the first picks are always versatile heroes that could be in multiple lanes. Nyx and Sand King could be offlane and supports, Bristleback can be in pretty much any lane, Clockwork in this other game, uh, the same stuff, and I mean I guess Nightstalker even. Uh, they are all good heroes uh, at the moment that are very flexible enough to keep your strategy open. Since we're talking about leaving strategy open, I also want to comment on PPD's third pick Enigma. It might feel kinda dumb. If if you're watching this clip because they could easily 4th pick it and ban the silencer as their 5th ban. Dude, this was 10, 10 o'clock, man. Dude, mid -start. Sniper. Sniper's fine too. Do you want Sniper? I actually... Do you want Tinker? The thing though is that in this uh, team composition, Ritsu has way more priority uh, in their games than the offlane. So they would have to either pick Sven third or third pick Tinker to allow that to happen. And those are way worse uh, the earlier you pick them. So while you may feel okay, PPD is just a bad drafter, he picked Enigma and they easily countered as a silencer. You need to actually think in the team dynamics. Uh, in a team like OG, they would probably fourth pick that Enigma and actually give S4 the better matchup. Because I mean, in my opinion they usually favor S4 over Ana, at least in lane matchups. Uh, but I mean it's not that simple, so I mean drafting is kind of complicated. Well guys, as always, Pugna is a platform where you can learn from people like Chessy, Fog, Monib, Waga uh, and get better at the game. They have now great tutorials and videos of the new patches. This video doesn't have uh, a extended version, but I mean there are a lot of videos that I uploaded, so I hope you guys see that and I mean uh, loot case doesn't exist anymore, so no more crispy uh, from zero to hero talks. I'm sorry. Yeah. And the video is over.